स्टूडेंट्स बात चल रही है अबाउट सम चेंजेस इन द स्टैंडर्ड इथरनेट दैट पेव्ड द वे फॉर द फास्टर वेरिएंट्स ऑफ इथरनेट स्टूडेंट्स हम लोगों ने कुछ ब्रिजिंग की बात की थी और मैंने आपको बताया था कि यूजिंग ब्रिजेस इन अ नेटवर्क वी नॉट ओनली एलोकेट और अलाउ ईच ऑफ द स्टेशन टू यूज मोर कैपेसिटी ऑफ द ओवरऑल लिंक एज कम्पेयर टू इफ यू डोंट यूज ब्रिजेस बट ऑल्सो द सेकेंड एडवांटेज वॉज that our collision domain was reduced with the use of bridges um, depending upon the number of bridges that we use and depending upon our physical topology of the network we can actually reduce the collision domains from a a, a large number of stations to um, smaller chunks of smaller stations smaller number of stations ab students um, second discussion ki janib chalenge and that is um, of the switched ethernet that was another change that was made in the standard स्टूडेंट्स जब हमने देखा कि द बैंडविथ द एलोकेटेड कैपेसिटी फॉर ईच स्टेशन इट कैन बी इंक्रीज इफ यू यूज इफ यू यूज द ब्रिज एंड द क्लिजन डोमेन इज ऑल्सो रिड्यूज द आइडिया दैट वॉज फ्लोटेड वॉज इंस्टेड ऑफ ब्रिज वाई नॉट यूज स्विच वाई नॉट यूज एन एन पोर्ट स्विच इन द केस ऑफ एन पोर्ट स्विच यू विल सी इन द नेक्स्ट स्लाइड दैट the bandwidth is only divided between the actual station and the switch it's not divided between multiple stations that are part of that bridged network that as was the case in in our bridge and also you'll see that uh, using n port switch we can have n which is which can be a large number n collision domains as well which will help us uh, reduce collisions also so students we used or we we developed what was called as the switched ethernet students as you can see uh, using this layer 2 switch is layer 2 switch is actually our this is nothing but an n port bridge now students in this case as you can see your bandwidth is only shared between the switch and each one of your domains each one of your stations and also you will have um as many domains as the number of ports on your on your switch so each station can have its own particular domain so students in this case the idea of the bridged lan was extended to switched lan switched local area network and as you can see instead of having two to four networks we have n networks where n is the number of stations on the lan we have got um, an n port switch which is a layer 2 switch and it has got additional sophistication as well that allows for farther faster handling of the packets and students the this particular evolution from a bridged lan to the switched ethernet lan that was a major accomplishment and a major change in our standard ethernet and as you will see in our future discussion uh that actually made the way or paved the way to faster forms of ethernet specifically the fast ethernet that was the next variant uh which can support up to 100 megabits per second straight up from a standard ethernet which was a 10 megabits per second network students after that we also had a limitation which was for specifically for 10 base 5 and 10 base 2 that was the communication was half duplex so half duplex means it was unidirectional and a station can either send or receive but a station in 10 base 5 and 10 base 2 was not able to do both at the same time students we moved from switched ethernet to what we call as full duplex switched ethernet and the change that you can see in this one is that we have got a full duplex link for every single station from the station to the switch ethernet students this full duplex mode it increased our capacity directly from 10 to 20 megabits per second and instead of using one link between the station we only um, had to make a change whereby the we used two links one to transmit and one to receive and the biggest advantage that we had for this from this full duplex switch ethernet was that there was no need um for csma cd this was a basic uh, this was a major advancement 
um, students in a full duplex switch Ethernet each station is connected to switch via two separate links one for transmission and one for reception and each station can therefore send and receive independently without uh, worrying about you know whether there is going to be a collision on the on the link or not because each link is a point-to-point -point dedicated link uh, between the station and the switch now students in this case uh, because we don't need CSMS CD the job of the Mac layer or media access control layer it became very easy the carrier sensing and the collision um, uh, were completely obsolete in this particular case and um, standard Ethernet was was therefore designed as a connectionless protocol at the MAC sublayer. There, there was no requirement of a flow control or error control to inform the sender that has arrived at the destination. Students, error control ke liye, we do, in the case of full duplex switches in it that you're looking at, we add a new sublayer uh, of MAC control between the LLC and the MAC sublayers, but other than that, the the flow control and error control in the case of full duplex switch Ethernet, they were not required.